Hello, everybody. Today is February 1st, 2024. We are going to be working on block five of our sampler sew along that that is being hosted by Rita's Bruce, Mona did what, Rowena, and myself. We did select as our basic block the churn dash block, which is a very simple, versatile block. You can use one color, three colors, use your scraps, make it all scrappy, however you want to do this. We are going to, for this demo um, or tutorial, we will be using the three colors as recommended. The pattern that we chose will be in the description. However, I did write my own pattern so I could share the cutting directions with you. And they're really simple. So let's get started. I did pick out my three fabrics. I do have a dark, medium, and a background or a light. And these were just scraps from my scrap bin. I'm using my 12.5 Creative Gridded Rulers for the tutorial series, the sampler so long tutorial series on the basic blocks. So I do have that. And I did cut my fabric out. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the instructions. From your dark fabric, we are going to label that A, and you will need two five inch squares. From your light fabric, for we are going to label one as B. One of the cutting directions is B, you will need two two and a half by 10 inch strips. So you will need two of that and that will be B. For C, you are going to cut one four and a half inch square. For D, you will need two five inch squares. And then on our medium fabric, you will need two, two and a half by 10 inch squares. Now I will mention that if you're comfortable sewing strips together, you could go ahead and just cut one, two and a half by 20 inch strip for both the dark or for the light and the medium fabric, if you wanted to do that. I went ahead and just cut them down by 10 and a half, um, 10 inch strips because it's easier for me to work with and you do not get as much bowing if you're not very accurate on your stitches and you're just learning. So I'm going to set that aside. Our first step is going to be making those half air, half square triangles. So we are going to take fabrics A and D, our dark and our light, separate those out, laying the fabric side touching together, the right sides of the fabric touching each other. And you are going to draw a diagonal line from one corner to the other. And you will sew a quarter inch seam away on either side of that diagonal line. So we will do that now.
this is a really quick and easy fun little block. I am letting the sewing machine, the paper dogs on the sewing machine, do the work for me. I do not want to tug on the fabric or push it in too quickly. And that will just help in making certain our stitch length after. And I also use leaders and enders to help save on that thread. All right, so we have two of our units sewn. We are going to cut on that diagonal line. And this is going to produce four half square triangles or HSTs. Now what we're going to do is open them up, take it to our iron, and give it a good press. All right, so we ended up with four units like this, four half square triangles that we now have to square up to four and a half inch squares. And that is what I'm doing now. Just as even as possible. We are going to take our four HSTs and just set them aside for a minute. What we are going to work on next is units B and E, separating those out. And we are going to right sides facing each other. We are going to take a quarter inch strip all the way down or stitch all the way down the side of the unit on both. Let's go ahead and do that. If you need to pin at this point to keep everything together, you could go ahead and do that. Um, sometimes it helps if your stitching is not quite accurate. Just go and stitch over, which is just going to give you a scant quarter inch. And that will help you to get the final subcut that we will need from
so we can open this up and we have two units that look like this we are going to take it to our sewing um our iron and press these units out to the dark side all right so i have my units ironed out i am going to be sub cutting them so i'm just going to give me a nice little straight line or a straight edge to work with turn that around we are going to sub cut these into two units of a four and a half square so I have a two from that and I'm going to repeat the process on this other strip unit. And we are so close to having this one complete. My third one. And my fourth So we are ready to assemble this block. And as I said earlier, it goes by so quickly. This is a fun block to make. Very easy. It's a great way to use up your scraps if you have it. If you are just a beginner quilter, it will make a beautiful block with whatever fabric you have on hand. I will um, let you know that whenever you make blocks, you will always need a whole bunch of white fabric or your light fabrics, your background fabrics. Because the background fabric is going to be used in every block that you make in the quilt, you will be making more cuts from that. So if you buy a yard of medium and dark, you want to go ahead and get maybe three yards of the white. You just want to get about three times as much because of the amount of white fabric that you're going to use. So we are simply going to assemble this block. This block will look the same no matter which way you turn it. You are going to have your dark portion of your half square, tri half square triangles facing in. Like so. Our medium fabric is going to face in towards the block facing the middle of the block and the one background fabric that was four and a half will go in the middle and there you go you simply have a nine patch right, squeeze that so you can see it and you are just going to sew your rows together. If you need to pin, you will go ahead and pin it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do that.
thing for a On my third piece, purple. Okay, so we sewed our rows together. We are just going to go ahead and give it a press, pressing out. And on your center block, you want to press in towards the light square. And we're going to go ahead and do that now. We have pressed out our blocks or our rows, and we are on the home stretch. So we are just going to complete the final portion of this block, sewing the top row to the middle row. And when you've completed that, the last row to the unit. If you need to pin, you can. And I am going to pin this one. We're going to take that to the sewing machine. If you don't use pens, pens, you can feel when you're nesting them that it doesn't feel lumpy and it just feels smooth and they just nest right together.
And there we have it, the churn dash with three different colors. I think it's a pretty block. You can make it, like I said, however you want, utilizing the colors you want. If you want all the dark fabrics to be the same color, you can do that. I inverted that one with, with tones that were a little closer together. And then I did a nice little bright pink one with my light block light block being a tonal print just kind of fun a little fussy cut this is one fabric piece and I just cut the four and a half square the way I wanted it to be in the middle and this one is actually going to be turned into a pillow for my granddaughter but that's what we have we have the churn dash block And I am so glad that you were able to sew along with us I or you are sewing along with us. And I hope we see you on Monday at Rita's Roost at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. You all have a good day. Be good to yourselves. Be kind. Be blessed. And keep sewing.